Come on, baby, don't leave me. Folks, today on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel, we're gonna start the Bronco. Hit it, honey. All right. Wow, now hit the gas a little. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, daddy, <laughs> we got the Bronco running today. Woo! I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life. Times like this. Run! <laughs> Guys, welcome to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. Me and Miss Stony Ridge are here today to have some fun with you. What do you think? I'm excited. We've got Dad's old 68 Bronco. And if you don't know about this, this is Dad's Bronco from back when I was like, I don't know, 11, 12 years old, something like that. I bought it. I sold it, I made some money, and I couldn't stand it, and I bought it back recently, we loaded it back up. When I sold it to this fella, it did run and drive. It started, it ran, and it drove. However, I have not had any time to really fool with this thing, and today, me and Miss Stony Ridge. We're gonna get it running. We're gonna try to get it running, <laughs> right? So yeah. we're getting ready to seal the shop floors off here in the garage and we've gotta get all the equipment and all the tools out of here, clean the floor really good and start sealing. So without further ado, let's see if we can get the Bronco running. All right guys, so if this is your first time to Stony Ridge Farm Channel or your 50 millionth time, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. We do everything country boy, country girl, and a little bit in between here. We're on 150 acre first generation farm in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina. Now, what does this engine need to run? It needs a couple things, a lot of TLC. <laughs> no, it needs fuel, it needs spark, it needs air and compression. Boom, got it. <laughs> this is the Mega Shop. The Mega Shop is a 50 foot by 112 foot Mega Shop. We'll be doing all sorts of fun stuff in here this winter, next winter, and from now on, guys. We're gonna have a butcher shop over here, cool little hangout music room, place for live streams, and a little bit of a Joe Rogan style podcast set up over there too. This is Dad's Bronco. We're gonna walk around this. So Dad won this back in the 80s in a poker game, believe it or not. Uh, we don't want to promote gambling on the channel, but <laughs> Dad did win this in a poker game. This has the 289 engine in it. It's the two barrel, not the high performance 289, but the two barrel model. We're missing the battery. We need to check our vital fluids. First things first, then we'll walk around. Uh-oh, <laughs> we'll walk around the machine here. Um, so we're checking a radiator first. I see a little bit of coolant in there. So that'll be enough. All we're doing is getting it running so we can move it around the shop. We'll have a rolling restoration at this point. We need to check the oil. And I know for a fact that the oil has not been changed in about 15 years here. We are right. The oil looks great. Dad was really good about servicing, putting belts and keeping this thing up. Um, it ran before, but the fuel tank has holes rusted through it. So we've got this temporary fuel tank set up right here. I've got a clickety-clack um, fuel pump and I've got our gas can right here. Let's take a look inside the Bronco. So this is a three on the tree, 289 V8 Bronco from 1968. It's showing 60,000 miles on it. That could be accurate miles on this critter. Look how gross. Floorboards have been replaced. We've got a little bit of rust here, a little bit of rust there, a little bit of rust everywhere. But. We've got a solid project to start with right here. This is an aftermarket top. I think it's from JC Whitney. For any of you guys that are Bronco enthusiasts, tell me where this top came from. This uh, is different than any Bronco top I've ever seen, and we definitely plan on restoring that. And the paint's been stripped off by the previous owner. I lost my butt on this. <laughs> so I got a smoking deal from my dad. He sold it to me for 1,500 bucks. I came on times where I needed money to build my farm, so I sold it for 6,500 and bought it back for 9,500. I still don't have a ton of money in it, but I've got more than I had when I started. So let's get busy. We'll slap a battery in this critter, and me and Miss Stony Ridge will get her started. I hope. I remember it smoked a lot. I think it's got bad rings. The engine's due for a refresh or overhaul. So first things first, guys. We want to make sure we have good electrical connections here. So we're just going to take this old school tool here and clean our battery terminals right quick. There we go. Awesome. Get that guy scrubbed out. Get this guy scrubbed out a little bit. These need to be replaced. They're in pretty rough shape. 
This is an older battery out of a tractor I had that was just sitting around. Positive and negative. We'll go ahead, the back side of this thing has a terminal cleaner for the battery, so we'll go ahead and clean the battery terminals also. So we're starting off proper. Now, you guys tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm gonna hook up positive first. Right there. Good. And negative. Spark? No spark, good. Let's just start off with a little tap. Everybody in place? Let me show you how to start this thing. Dad's secret code, okay? Dad's secret code is power on, fuel pump's running, okay? So power on, we're out of gear, and we're gonna hit it. Yeah, daddy. Okay, so you see the button? Power on, push to start. Got okay? it. Okay, that's all you gotta do. All right, I got it. That's it. Yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> all right, don't overdo it now. I think I can handle that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get some fuel into the carb first. This little makeshift fuel tank right here is <laughs> not the best in the world, um, but it'll be good enough to get us started. Good deal, nice fuel cap. Now we're gonna pour a little bit in the bowls of the carburetor. That's way too much fuel. Okay, dear, let's go ahead and bump it. All, right. All you're gonna do is turn the key on. Go ahead, okay, let's do it. just turn the on switch on, but don't hit start until I say so, okay? okay. We'll shut the door. Right. Don't run over me. If anything happens, just turn that off, okay? okay. Turn it, it on. on, wait. Let's let the fuel pump pick up fuel. Okay, I can hear it running. Hit the gas pedal a little bit. Okay, pump it. Okay, good. Okay, well, this will tell the tale. Let's do it. Hang on, no, no. wait. <laughs> I'm so excited. Does the horn work? Nope. No. <laughs> Just wait. Turn the power switch on. All right. One We're more on. time. Okay, fuel pump's running. Uh, just touch the starter for like two seconds. Okay. Oh, that wasn't two seconds. Let it turn over like, er, er, er. All right, hold it. Okay, go ahead and do it again. Turn it off, off. It's making a noise. You hear that noise? Yeah, I heard it. Yeah. Dude, that thing fired right up. Holy cow, man. It just it purring like a kitten too. I don't know if that dude put exhaust on it or what. Um, I don't know what that noise was. So hang on one second. Go ahead and turn the switch on and just push the button again. Okay. Okay, let go. Let's start it again. Keep going, keep going. Okay. Okay, hold it, hold it. Turn it off. Okay, it's we're, off. We're not getting fuel making it all the way in. So, must not be picking up fuel in the little fuel tank. Um, let me pour a little more fuel down in the, in the carb. Didn't even need starter fluid, man, that's awesome. Okay, give that one second. Turn your key on or your switch on. We're on. Okay, hit it. All right. Boy, I don't know what on earth that squealing is, but it is definitely squealing. Uh, tell you what, it runs. So it runs. <laughs> um, hop out and let me see if I can get it to run good enough to get it out of the garage. Can you drive a stick? Uh, not very well. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna <laughs> hop in here and see if we can get this thing rolling so we can get it out the door because that's the goal here is to get it out of the shop. We yep. know it runs like a top. I mean, it really fired right Yeah, up. that was impressed. It was quiet too. Not yeah. a lot of smoke. Pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna hop in here and take over and we're gonna roll it on out the door here. Okay. Again, dad's original security system right there. Uh, wow. We don't make them like this anymore. Yep, we're not picking up fuel, but I think we'll pick up fuel enough to get it the heck out of the shop. We're gonna dip a little more fuel in here. 
it's not picking up fuel from the uh, little fuel pump setup that I have right there. I'm a little curious about that. Uh, we need all those ingredients to make this work. All right, let's try again. And I'm gonna drive it on out, honey, so look out, because if I can get it started, we're heading out the door. Uh, here we go. Come on, home, baby, you don't leave me. Ah. Uh, I think that's the water pump making that noise. Come on, Bronco. Is it flooded or is it short of fuel? Now we're getting that smoke. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't think the fuel pump is totally shot. That's that's pretty much a no-brainer at this point. Let me pop it off real quick. All right, in order to ascertain whether we have fuel pressure, I am simply gonna take this line loose. This is a fuel pump, not really made for a V8 engine. Oh, oh that's cool, just pulled out of the pump. <laughs> okay, see if fuel comes out right there. Oh yeah. Okay. Booyah, what a mess. Okay, now we've got fuel and spark right beside one another. That'll be perfect, won't it? That should be interesting. <laughs> well, all right. Let's try it again. So our pump is working. Pour a little more in here. We gotta get this out of the shop, really, is just the goal. All right. You ready? I'm ready, let's do it. You say the words. Fingers crossed. Contact? Contact. Stop. Come on, baby. You can do it. Yay. Yeah. No. Oh, wait, it's still running. I thought it was dead. Oh, come on, girl. Come on, mission accomplished. <laughs> I don't know what that button does. Okay, so we have another option to get it out of the shop. We know it runs. I'm just gonna push the start button and roll out. Let's try it. We're in low four. It's working. If it starts, we'll just go. Come on, baby. Cleared the door. <laughs> so we know we got no fuel to the car, but we do have it out of the shop. <laughs> All right. I'm going to pull it right there, out of the way, hopefully, of everything. Uh, here we go. Contact. All right, I'm coming towards you. All right, I got my eyes on you. Not recommended at home, kids. Gosh, it would fit with just... Let's try this again. The secondary problem we had with this thing is it was somehow stuck in gear. So it's not stuck in gear anymore. I'm gonna see if I can push it. I just wanna get it out of the way. So let's see how it goes here. Oh, oh yeah. You get in and drive, hon. I'm on it. <laughs> She's gonna drive now. All you gotta do is stir. All right, you know how to I'm stir? I'll do the honors. Gotta put the glutes into it, hon. Oh, oh yeah. You can do it. I got the wrong boots on. <laughs> oh, definitely. Doing good for getting there. Oh, dang. Come on, honey. Don't give up on me yet. We're almost there. Right there. All right, I think that's good. Brakes work? Yep, yeah, brakes work. Whew. Hey, honey. Yeah, honey. <laughs> I think you got something on your butt. <laughs> what is it? Oh. You want to raise the hood for me, honey? I sure do. All right. Let's check Raising out the goods. Up there. 
Oh, there's a clip. thing under there. There you go. See it here. Oh, is that it? Okay. There, there you we got go. it. There we go. There got you it. go. Look at that. <laughs> Baby's first hood opening. Uh, I got uh, it. I just had to find job. the switch. Exactly. So we know we've got fuel coming out of here through the pump to here, and we've got a little more troubleshooting to do. Maybe this little filter is clogged up. It doesn't appear to be making its way to the carburetor, so we've got a tiny bit more head scratching to do. So we do know that the Bronco runs and that makes us happy. Yeah, it does. It? Mission so, accomplished for the day. That's it. So tomorrow I'm going to pull everything out of the shop and we're going to get started on sealing off the floors. I've got to clean the floors impeccably. I've got to go around with a vacuum cleaner, get all the cracks, cut it in, do the first coat, come back the next day or the day after and do another coat. It's not supposed to rain for three or four days, so we're gonna leave the Bronco out here. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to everybody that's watching the show today. Please jump in and subscribe. We'd love to have you back here. We got all kinds of fun stuff to go, right? We sure do. It's never a dull moment. Yep, we're gonna teach her how to drive the three on the tree Bronco. I'm excited. Yeah, it'll be a good time. <laughs> Guys, thanks a lot for joining us. We got the Bronco running. Woohoo! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Hasn't ran in Six years. Six years since it got started. It's been a while. It's All time we, had to we do bring it back. In it. Yeah. It's a family heirloom. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> family expense. <laughs> See you guys later. Have a great Bye. day. Woo! Push the button all the way in. Put, you don't need to push the door to in. It. Just push the button all the way in. There we go. There you go. Good. This is not working out for me. Got to put the glutes into it, hon. Ugh. How those well, glutes feel? Yeah. <laughs> these rubber shoes. Here's what I got on. I got Donald Duck's rubber shoes on. Not good for pushing. <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job, uh, though. Yeah. You did a good job, too. <laughs> Thank you.